take Bama Welterweight contest. The reach advantage, the height advantage, going the way of Shane Mills. Experience advantage only slightly going to Marcio Cesar. On paper, this one should be a fantastic contest. We'll get it underway with the golden voice of Bama Shandales. Let's get this one rocking. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not time for our next contest of the evening. Three five-minute rounds of fighting in the welterweight division. Your referee for this contest is Mark Woodard. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter with a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, one draw, with three wins coming by TKO. He stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 171 pounds, fighting out of Curuchiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Marcio Garcia. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial arts fighter with a professional record of 12 wins, four losses, with five wins coming by TKO. He stands six feet two inches tall and weighed 100 to 171 half pounds. Fighting out of Gloucester, England, ladies and gentlemen, Chad. So we are ready for this welterweight contest here between Gracinha, Marcio, Cesar and Shane Mills. The crowd really getting behind both of these men. Around number one, they touch gloves. Shane Mills has to use that height and reach advantage, sit behind his jab, throw the leg kicks. And we'll see if Gracinha can take it to ground. Mills on the front foot early on here. Both men in all as Mills look for the inside thigh. He's got to be careful though, Gracinha, he's circling into that left hook and I know you don't want to circle into the right hand but Shane Mills does possess a very good left hook good single leg here from the Brazilian looking for the takedown early on and a high knee from Shane Mills they go to ground well Mike it was as you said Shay had to stay up he did well at first but Gracinho's where he I imagine wanted to be now but Shay's still a dangerous opponent with those short elbows there driving the elbow onto the right ear here of Gracinho three times in a row from Shay Mills Gracinho back to his feet where's the Line, and now back Shay against the cage. That Single was leg here from Grisinha Melkin. That was a huge knee there though, Mike. And as we said, you, what he needs to do, it's easier said than done because Shay has been very alert to that. And we saw earlier in the night a stoppage when a man went for the shoot and those short chopping elbows. You're seeing some good takedown defense here from Shay Mills. Grisinha desperately trying for the takedown, gets it now, looks to pass and Mills back to his feet. I think that's going to set the pace for this fight. He set out his stall, Cesar, and Shea will have to do this for three rounds to try and ground out a win because we can see what his opponent really wants to do here. Asimio takes out that left leg again. Shea tries to turn him inside the guard. Here is the Brazilian close guard now of Shea Mills. Senior vine for position, takes a head out, passes, goes to side control. Good work, he'll look to mount him now. But Shay just defends the mount. And this is a nice position for Grasinha. Yes, well, Shay gets back up. I was just about to say he needs to keep his man close otherwise. But Mike, I've been really impressed with Shay's defence here. Shay just throwing the Brazilian against the cage once again. Gracinha drops down, lucky onto that left leg as he has done so far in this contest. Looking for the takedown, couldn't sweep up the support leg, however. Now switches to a double leg. Back onto that left leg. Shay Mills doing a good job of defending the takedown thus far. Gracinha working for it. But Mills will not go down. He could work the elbows from here, Shay Mills. He's cranky on that left arm, looking for a submission. Nothing working, though, for the Englishman. Under two and a half minutes remaining here in the first. Well, it's the first defensive movement, really, for Sheamus, because from the bell, he's been forced into defensive mode, and that's the problem for him. When you're looking at touches, this is the position he's had to fight the whole time. He needs to somehow get out of this and start his own offensive, because Cesar has been on him all the time. Oh, nice flat slide just slid off the back of Shea Mills and referee says, let's stand it up, boys. Fantastic first round so far. 
Shane Mills now on the front foot. He's got to pepper with the jab. Got to work the leg kicks here. Get some strikes off. Well, this is where you feel he has to capitalize, Mike. And again, beautiful right uppercut from him, and then the knee. And he's looking for the knee again, and he lands it clean. Full Thai clinch, and Grisina just pulled guard as well he should. You don't want to be in the full Muay Thai clinch with Shea Mills. Inside the guard again here, Shea. Now 90 seconds remaining in the first round. Well, I think Cesar had to pull guard, didn't he? Because for the first time, Shea Mills showed him what he's capable of. And it was all from that short little uppercut and these dropping elbows now, Mike. The jaw wide open, Shea Mills drops the boom twice off the left arm. And Grisinha momentarily going turtle shell. Mills now. Will he try and get inside the gap? Lands the left right to the jaw. Grisinha in trouble. when they're upright and then from here Mike is ruthless have a look at this the senior tanky ball knocks to the front door it was over here referee gave him the benefit of the doubt but Mills just put a pounding on the Brazilian and the English are 1-0 up over the South Americans could it all go well for Kong Watson in our main event